Hi, I'm Jennifer Bowker in Seattle, along with Brandon Huffman, National Recruiting Analyst for Scout.com and Fox Sports Next. You know, the trend out west uh, this year really has been a lot of early commits, but there's still a fair amount of big fish still left out there, but they all seem to be on defense, huh? Yeah, you know, I think that's kind of the trend that this year the class has been so strong on the defense side of the ball. Last year was the offensive linemen that kind of dominated. Mm -hmm. This year it's really been the defensive backs that have been kind of the key. In fact, the top player out west is a defensive back, but the top player left is a defensive lineman, Eddie Vanderdose, and there's a lot of schools that are kind of waiting to see what Eddie does. Uh, and then there's quite a few defensive backs that are left that are having to make their decisions. And so I, I think that, you know, one of the key storylines to watch now is where do some of those DBs end up and really where does Eddie Vanderdose yeah. end up? And I think that there's a lot of Pac-12 schools that are watching that very closely to see if their class is going to be strengthened by those additions. Uh, but I, I think, you know, like you said, the trend out West has really been to commit early. And you're seeing that more and more guys making early decisions. But then you're also seeing some guys that have made early decisions such as an Eddie Vanderdose, who they get down to it, and they're not quite confident in their decision. They're taking official visits and using all those official visits until they make a decision. What about the offensive side? Still a few big fish left there, too. Yeah, well, you know, like I said about Eddie Vanderdose making that early decision, he has made early decisions and are now looking at all their options. There are Nico Fala, an offensive lineman out of St. John Bosco, who's been committed to USC but he's taken visits. He visited USC this weekend, but he's also visited Washington, he's visited Oregon, he's visited Oklahoma, and then Sebastian LaRue, who was a one-time, kind of a long-time USC commit, but almost from the beginning decided he was going to take his trips. He's visited Washington State, never took an official to USC, visited Texas A&M over the weekend, plans to visit Notre Dame, and so, you know, even the guys that they thought that they had their decisions made, they thought they were completely certain about where they wanted to go, the uncertainty has crept in, and so, you know, on the defense side of the ball, you got guys like Priest, Willis, Tahan, Goodman and Tyler Foreman that have yet to make the decision and then offensively Nico Fala and Sebastian LaRue are kind of the big fish but really everybody kind of all eyes out west are pointed to see what Eddie Vanderdose does. Mm -hmm. and, and I imagine you're thinking at this point now we're going to be waiting till signing day. Yeah and I think this is kind of where you're at. January, if the guys that haven't committed early, if they didn't decide by the All-American games, they're now going to wait until signing day. And a big reason for that is, you know, besides the glitz and glamour of announcing on signing day, whether it's on television or at a press conference at their school, for a lot of it, it's they need all the time that they can get. And that means using every weekend available to take the rest of their official visits, using every night that they've got available to do in-homes with the, with the college coaches. And, you know, take, for instance, Eddie Vanados again. He visited USC this past weekend. He's visiting Notre Dame this coming weekend. Then he's visiting Alabama. Alabama the weekend before signing day so he's literally using every weekend he even said this last week if he needs to use go past signing day to make a decision he will because as he said, this isn't a four-year decision this is a 40-year decision and you've got to make sure you've covered all your bases when making that decision so we're, we're kind of at that point now where the top end guys they, they kind of have the opportunity to wait and announce on signing day because they really are kind of linchpins to their classes but it also isn't because uh, they want the, the drama for a lot of them is they really need all the time that they can get yeah all right. Well, thanks. And uh, we'll keep following the story at Fox Sports Next and Scout.com.